Hi lovely audience! For today's Vocal Fry Trans Voice tutorial, we decided to buy an entire Red Rooster location here at S This is the perfect location for us to learn all there is to know about Vocal Wait, Fry. Wait, Pitch, do not put the toast into the deep fryer, otherwise it'll- Oh, a customer. Oh, um, can I have a trans voice tutorial that doesn't require either a linguistics degree or a sound engineering degree to even understand it? So in other words, you want a trans voice tutorial that can be comprehended by literal five-year-olds? Oh, um, yeah, actually. Then here it is. Change the voice from this to this. How to trans voice part five, vocal fry. Or, um, how to not vocal fry, I guess. Calling it that would be a bit weird for the algorithm but um that's the title of the video oh i wonder who that could be ha huh, no one's here that's kind of weird oh no matter we'll do the tutorial right here right now oh uh sorry elmo you're in the next one all right so what even is vocal fry you just heard it actually <laughs> Vocal fry is when the voice does this kind of uh, uh, rough, almost gravelly sound. Instead of a clear voice like this, you have a sound like this, 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 the that kind of sound. You're ice skating smoothly across the voice in a sense, without any bumps in the way. However, if that vocal fry came in and there's a bit of a bump, well, that said though, Vocal fry isn't inherently masculine or feminine. So if you prefer doing a little bit of vocal fry here and there, that's perfectly okay. While this video is focused on how to eliminate vocal fry, you might be familiar with the valley girl voice, but in this context, fry can be used in a feminine way. Though generally, it's more about how you use your voice, but we can learn how to eliminate some fry and see how that works for you. All right, so what do we need to learn this technique? We have a sentence right here. Vocal fry is hard. We are using this sentence because it's got a lot of R's, which happens to be the sound that's very easy to fry with. So we will read this sentence right here twice. Our reading will be intentionally using vocal fry. Then after we'll intentionally not use vocal fry, once with fry, once without fry. Vocal fry is hard. Vocal fry is hard. Before we start this, do you know that vocal fry is something we should be very, very careful with. Please practice this in moderation and take breaks when necessary. And this sentence will be tough. Avoiding frying on the word hard and fry will be particularly <laughs> difficult. Don't worry, I will win this match. I am a content creator, and content creators are all good at boxing. Um, the C you know content creator boxing matches are staged, right? Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I just gotta say the sentence with vocal fry, and when they least expect it, I gotta say it again without any vocal fry at all. Here we go. Whew. Vocal fry is hard. Vocal fry is hard. Wait. Ooh! Vocal fry is hard. <laughs> Vocal fry is hard. <laughs> Three hours later. <sighs> now I know what you're thinking. Random voice coach YouTuber with a cool Patreon link in the description. How do I turn this into a real voice? Well, uh, well. That's a really cool rainbow, actually. Wow. You know, this really segues really well to the next exercise, actually. You know, normally we're pretty chaotic in these videos. How about for this section? Let's have a nice chill. All right, so. So there was this passage written a really long time ago. Long ago, even. Before I was born, before a lot of you were born. This is the Rainbow Passage. It was created to help with articulation. 
However, because it's often used from other speech ufologists for that purpose, I'd imagine that's why it eventually made its way over to the trans community. And similar to stuff like heat from fire, fire from heat, <laughs> and all that. Um, it really became a bit of a funny meme with people that do trans voice. Not everyone, but a fair amount of people. I think because of this, it just became so familiar to uh, people that did speech ufology for their voice. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the heat from fire or fire from heat of the past, but hey, it's still pretty helpful, I think. It's even inside the voice tools app, if you've ever used that. It's kind of cool how popular this one passage is. And it being about rainbows, it kind of resonates with the queer community in some ways. So I think that's pretty cool. So, let's have a look at it. So, here is the first paragraph of the rainbow passage. Let's read up to this bit. <laughs> let's just be really nice and smooth about it. So, we're going to do it with vocal fry on purpose. Then, the second time, we're going to not vocal fry. Now you heard my voice just did a vocal fry. Oops, my bad. <laughs> if you hear yourself vocal fry, start again. <laughs> so, when the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air. Now, there it is. If you didn't get a first try, don't feel discouraged. It can be pretty challenging, surprisingly. Our goal is to be able to read the entire sentence without vocal frying once. Now in standard speech, a lot of people will vocal fry, and that's fine. You heard me do it a couple of times in this video. We're minimalizing, it's hard to fully get rid of it. So, it's a very long passage. So, how about, with these beautiful rain sounds that I've turned on, let's enjoy hearing me read the rainbow passage for a nice break of chaos. So I'm going to try to do this without any vocal fry. Let's see if I can do it. And you're welcome to read along with me. So. When the sunlight strikes raindrops in the air, they act as a prism and form a rainbow. A rainbow is a division of white light into many beautiful colors. These take the shape of a long round arch with its path high above and its two ends apparently beyond the horizon. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. Where is that gold? Hmm. Here's the say. Maybe the real gold is... Well, the euphoric joy of finding a voice that feels like your own. That's pretty beautiful, honestly. I'm pretty satisfied with that, in fact. So, that's, that's the rainbow passage. I admit, I wasn't sure of a chaotic part to introduce the rainbow passage, so hope you enjoyed that little change for the usual. But don't worry, we can maintain the chill vibes. We can grow one video about something chaotic happening, we're all good. Hey, um, what, what happened to our red rooster chain? Oh, um. Uh we went bankrupt. How? We've only had it open for a single day. <laughs> but I love Red Rooster. We know. And uh, oh, we actually saved your ripper roll. Wow. Um, I don't want to say everyone. Wait, why is it burnt? Pitch's cooking skills. Huh. I didn't know Pitch could drive. Um, well, I'll let you do the sentimental outro. Um, I'm going to go talk to Elmo for the next video. Don't lose the script this time. Um, so... It's been a while since I made one of these, huh? It's a bit later than usual. Um, so I wanted to explain why, if that's okay. Um, so, basically... <laughs> 
in the span of last upload and this one, um, I moved away to a new house to do university, to become an actual speech pathologist, right? Um, it didn't go well, unfortunately. Um, I had to move back. Um, my health rapidly deteriorated. I overworked and overstudied and I know everyone tells me not to overwork, but I did it. <laughs> I did what I feared. I overworked. I, I, I couldn't walk <laughs> at one stage. Um, I really fatigued myself and I'm pretty upset about it, I admit. But ever since I moved back, I've been able to get on my feet more and get a bit healthier. Like, I think my diet's good. I've been exercising more. I've been doing a lot of... I started dance class, actually. That's That's been a cool life thing. Um, but despite that, um, all these tough stuff in the back of the scenes, or behind the scenes, everyone still showed up and showed support for these videos. <laughs> and that means a lot. I mean, I wouldn't even have been able to move out or attempt to without your support, you know? Um, and the voice lessons have been incredible so far. Um, I know I get tired sometimes, but I try my best to make all the voice lessons count. And to all 30-something of the students that um, take voice lessons with me, I'm very grateful for our time together so far. And I look forward to our next lesson. <laughs> and I know it's frustrating for people that um, aren't able to get lessons because my, my schedule is kind of booked. <laughs> um, but... Keep an eye on the Patreon, sometimes slots open up. I, uh, I took on more than I could chew. That's what led to a lot of complications. Um, a couple of videos ago, or voice tutorials ago, I kind of skyrocketed in popularity. Like, under, understatement of the century. I think I went from like 2,000 subscribers to like 20,000 in the span of like a month, right? That's a big jump for me. Maybe not for other people, but for me it was big. And I don't think I handled that explosion of growth very well. But now I'm in a state where I can. So I'm going to do my best in all future projects to prioritize making the best stuff I can make and also being nice to my body. Being kind to myself. I mean, it's a bit ironic that I tell you to be kind to yourself and I'm kind of mean to myself. So yeah, that's the video. Sorry this one was a bit shorter than the previous entries. To be honest, if I made this video longer, I think it would have been padding. <laughs> um, so I made sure it still had the spectacle and the special effects and explosions that you expect from a Lucy video. But also the information that's usually there. I hope it was a good balance. I'm, I experimented a bit with this one. I got some feedback that the past two videos are too, like, bloated and too, like, long. Granted, this intro is getting... This outro is getting kind of long. Um, so maybe I should take some advice. <laughs> so I'm going to depart. And uh, I have a video to edit. <laughs> so I hope it turns out good. <laughs> um, until then, stay hydrated and know that you're valid. And thank you so much. Truly. I'll keep doing my best. Both for my the sake of my own body. And also for the content I make. I think I can get the balance, the work-life balance correct. And I appreciate your patience for this video. And I just appreciate you in general. <laughs> well, you got some practicing to do. <laughs> I hope that goes well. You got this. You always do.